our first story is about Prince's Paisley Park estate. Mm. So, as we all know, Prince passed away in the beginning of this year, and we all mourned his passing, which is actually still really sad to think about, and I think there are still a lot of things that haven't been truly uncovered about it all sure. that we're still questioning. So his park estate is opening, and um, there is a lot about it that the public doesn't know about it. It's a huge manor that has lots of different rooms that were had different uses. There was a studio. There was a different room for like relaxation and things along <laughs> those lines. I feel like he, his entire house was just like full of pillows. Like yeah. there's no furniture. It's just, just like pillows. chill, man. I think it was all psychedelic, but in a calm way, if that's possible. In a purple way. Yeah. And so the Bremer Trust, which man is, manages the estate, just announced the deal that puts people who run Graceland in charge of public tours and this is supposed to begin in October. So Graceland was Elvis Presley's estate that is has been open to the public for many years now and lots of people come and visit, buy gifts from there. I think you have to pay a fee for admission so I don't know where all this money goes but I know that there are lots of different people that are on board with it that are family relatives and just great fans. What do you think? So this is pretty interesting. So it's being managed by the same folks who um, currently manage Graceland, yep. which is Elvis's house. Now, one of the reasons why what they're doing here is so attractive um, as outside of being a member of the general public, which, you know, it's obviously really interesting to be able to go into the home of a beloved artist and kind of see like, this is where they live their life. These are their things. All that kind of stuff is really interesting. Um, but Prince's estate is in contention right now. There are a lot of people kind of vying um, for his estate. As far as I understand, he did not have a written will um, because this death was sudden. Um, I, yeah. you know, on paper, he was way too young to be passing away. Um, so for that reason, he didn't really have a written will. Um, the heirs to Prince's estate, which probably will end up being kind of numerous, um, in this situation get so there are numerous members of the estate and they all are looking for a piece of the action. One of the best ways that you can kind of distribute over a long period of time is to do one of these deals where you're basically getting revenue for years and years and years mm -hmm. down the road by having tourists come in and basically kind of treating it like an amusement park or some kind of attraction like that. Um, so obviously that's very appealing to the folks that are members of uh, the Prince estate. Now, people are a little concerned right now um, because the Graceland team actually does not have the best record. And as it stands, Team Elvis would stand to make 50% of the revenue generated by the tours, which is an incredibly that large amount That is a lot for something that they would just be a part of managing and they yeah. would be curating the experience, yes, but at the same time, that is not they're, they do not own that property at all. Yeah, I mean, 50% seems a little high to me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that there's like a ton of knowledge that they probably have from running Graceland. Like, you could not even remotely expect Prince's family to figure out how to do it on no. their own. Like, when you bring this team in, they're gonna do everything for you. So they're gonna set it up, they're gonna do the ticketing, they're gonna figure out how to set up the house so nothing gets screwed up, they're gonna do the tours, they're gonna write the tours. Um, there's a lot of things that go into it. I'm sure it's very complicated. Um, and that expertise is certainly worth a certain amount of money, um, but 50% does seem pretty large, if I, had, if I had to guess. Yeah, I feel the exact same way. And I think this is a great way to kind of honor Prince as an overall celebrity musician artist, but I think at the same time you really have to take into consideration every single person that was close to him. And I don't know those personal details and I don't think really anyone does, um, yeah. but I, it's hard to just pass it down to someone that's directly related by blood because not all the time is that's the person that should be getting whatever it is. Yeah, you're totally right about that. But if this continues and Paisley Park um, is open to the public, I would certainly be interested in checking it out. I think Me? it's pretty awesome. Me too. I think it would be a great experience to go in inside and see the every day of someone that has been an idol of the entire yeah. world for so long. So who knows? Can I like lay in, it. Maybe you could lay in some pillows in Graceland. Huh? In Paisley Park. Paisley Graceland's Park. Graceland's Elvis. I still haven't. Have you been to Graceland? No, I would go. I don't know. Paisley Park seems more interesting to me than Graceland. Um, I don't know. Elvis's house seems like it's kind of weird. 
I think it's I, like uh, I don't know. it's like an ode to him, right? Yeah. I don't think I feel like Prince doesn't have pictures of himself all over the place, but anyway, to know. There's your story, folks. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We're moving on.